Do you have a home office that you want to upgrade? Maybe you have a limited budget and there's only a handful of things that you could realistically improve anyways. Here's a list of five things I would do to improve my home office if I had to do it again. We gotta put on the wide angle lens. That's better. I love my office and there are five things that I think just about anyone can do to truly upgrade your office and it's super easy. Let's get to it. All right, the first thing that you wanna have in your office to upgrade it substantially is a standing desk. And this right here, is my standing desk. Why? I think they look clean, they're very minimalist, it's not cluttered with cabinets, it goes up, it goes down, and it's just what a modern office has these days. So, first thing, standing desk. I'm gonna post a I'm gonna post an affiliate link down below if you want to go in from Amazon. It's like 150 bucks or something like that. Fairly easy. Fun fact about my desk, that is not typical. I have moved three times in the past three years. And I got sick of having to take apart this desk because it's just wider than the door frame. So I actually got a saw and I sawed the back of my desk off. So not the most professional, but hey, it works. And I still think it looks great. So number one, standing desk. Okay, number two, quite frankly, is very important as well. And that is a feature wall. And this right here is my feature wall. I love it for making YouTube videos, but for video calls for work, it looks really nice. It's just insane how a simple slat wall like this, board and batten, this is a slat wall that, again, I got off Amazon. I'll post an affiliate link down below. There's so many places to buy it, but the best deal I found was on Amazon. Anyways, this slat wall has 100% upgraded the look of the whole room. Feature wall. And a feature wall can be wallpaper, it can be board and batten, it could be something like this. Just a nice feature wall that you can put behind your camera to really elevate the appearance of your office wall. All right, we're on number three, and that is cable management. And I will be honest, this, it's a work in progress. You see what we've got going on here? Okay, we've got this cord. This is for USB type C, so my computer, my iPad, and then we've got a lightning cable for my Apple Magic trackpad, my AirPods, my iPhone, which I'm currently filming this video on, by the way. These cords I just like, and I, I like the minimal look, but you have to have some cords. But the cable management has gone a long way, and the standing desk helps with this. Let me show you what I'm talking about. But when you look here, it doesn't scream a lot of cords. Now when you go to the back, there's still not that many cords. It's not beautiful though. I know there's, there's definitely more I can do. Here's cords that I can't avoid. Number one, we have the cord from the desk to the wall. We have a cord to my laptop and we have a cord to this light. Obviously, I can put away this light, but for filming videos, I like to have extra light. What I've done to substantially decrease the cable clutter on this desk is I mounted a power strip beneath and I feed everything into it. I mean, we have the motor of the desk. We've got the monitor cord. We've got the microphone cord. We've got the camera cord. We've got all sorts of cords going everywhere. And when you mount a power strip underneath, feed them along this post, wrap it around, put it underneath, it's nice and tidy. And if I want it to be really tidy, I'll get rid of this light, I'll get rid of these cords. In fact, I'm gonna do that right now. Look at the difference. And now this is me getting rid of all the extra cords. So as you can see, we have cords going over here. You can't get rid of this white one. I mean, I guess I could tuck the laptop cord underneath, but long story short, Cable management goes a long way. And although this isn't perfect, this is pretty dang clean. It's a lot better than what it used to be. And quite frankly, I'm satisfied with it. So number three, good cable management. Now number four is good lighting. There are three sources of lighting that come into this room. And you're looking at source number one, which is my favorite, all right? A large window, open up those curtains. By the way, good curtains can elevate the look of an office, but that's just a bonus one. That's not one of the five. Natural light from the window, ceiling light, ring light. Between these three lights, there is decent lighting if I wanna get in the right position for my videos. Last but not least, reason number five, tip number five of how you can absolutely elevate your office's appearance is just having a minimalist design. And I know this isn't the most minimalist design in the world, but when you take a look at this office, look what you see. You see a desk, a chair, a bed, and that's it. There's no trash can, 
There's no printer, which I have. There's no shredder, which I have. There's no storage. Well, how do you do that? The traditional office doesn't have a closet. When you have a closet, it makes it that much easier. And I happen to have a walk-in closet. And so it's kind of a mess in here. It's not like crazy, like I can still walk in here, but I'm able to store all my stuff, a little extra clothes, all my paper. And if I want it to feel nice and minimalist, shut the door, boom, minimalist design in here. This is also our guest room, by the way. So we have a bed, but I think it looks nice. And quite frankly, if I wanna lay down on the bed and work on my laptop, I can. That is tip number five to elevate your office. You're gonna need a standing desk. You're gonna need a feature wall. You're gonna need cable management. You're gonna need good lighting and you're gonna need a decluttered design. If you have those five things, your office will look great. Thanks for watching.